Example 16.1. In this example, we have the roof of an electrically heated home, which has a dimension of 8 by 6 by 0.25 meters. It, this roof is made out of concrete, which has a thermal conductivity of 0.8 watts meter Kelvin, and the temperature between the inner and the outer surfaces is 15 and 4 Celsius respectively, and we have a period of 10 hours that we're evaluating. We need to determine the rate of heat loss through the roof in that particular time period. We also need to determine the cost of the heat loss um, that it will cause the homeowner if the electricity was equal to 0.08 dollars per kilowatt hour. So the first thing that we need to realize is what type of conduction we're dealing with. So if we have the roof, so notice basically this is the schematic of the roof. So notice that we have two different surfaces. So the surface in the top is all set at 4 Celsius. The bottom one is set at 15 Celsius. Assuming that both of the surfaces are isothermal, the amount of heat transfer will be exactly the same whether you do it here, whether you do it here, or anywhere across the surfaces. Notice that we're neglecting what happens at the edges of the roof. So in that case, because heat goes from high to low, the heat transfer is going to take place in this direction, and that's why it's going to be one dimension. The cross-sectional area for this um, for this problem it is perpendicular to the heat uh, transfer rate. So the cross-sectional area in this case simply is going to be eight meters by six meters. Okay. So so since we determined that it's going to be a one-dimensional steady conduction case, we could write the Fourier law as this. Q dot is equal to K A T1 minus T2 divided by L. Where L is the distance between the two surfaces that we're dealing with, in this case the, the value of L is equal to 0.25 meters. So now let's replace the information that we have. Q dot is equal to 0.8 watts mk, the cross-sectional area is 8 meters by 6 meters, the values of t1 and t2 are going to be 15 minus 4 celsius, and the distance in between is going to be 0.25 meters. Always when you're doing problems like this, double check that your units work properly. So notice that in this case, this meter and this meter will cancel out. Notice that we have Celsius over here and Kelvin. However, the delta or the change of temperature of a Kelvin is exactly the delta in Celsius. So we could cancel Celsius and Kelvin as long as there is a difference in temperature over here, as long as you calculate in a delta value. And notice that this meter and this meter will cancel. Therefore, the value of the heat of the rate of heat loss is going to be equal to 1690 watts. So that answers the first part of the problem. The second part is to evaluate the cost. So the first thing that we need to find, notice that it's asking us in terms of kilowatt hour, and this is in terms of watts. So we need to convert this into kilowatt hours. So in, the, in that case, we calculate Q, and that is simply going to be Q dot times that amount of time that we have. So we're going to convert it first into, ki into kilowatts, so 1690 watts. We know that there are going to be a thousand watts in one kilowatt, and then we multiply it by the time. The time is going to be 10 hours. So this is going to give us 16.9 kilowatt hours. So now to evaluate the cost, so we simply said, okay, so this is the amount that is going to cost us. So it says that it's 0 0.08 dollars for every single kilowatt hour. And we multiply by the amount of kilowatt hours that we have. And this is going to give us $1.35. So basically it tells you that um, in that particular night, 
the owner is losing a dollar and 35 cents uh, to while maintaining the temperature of the two surfaces at those particular uh, values and notice that we're evaluating the amount of heat lost because it's going from the house to the outside. 